Today, Bran and I are attempting the what's in the box challenge. We hired an expert who brought in tons of different animals. Snakes, lizards without legs, which look like snakes, cute bunnies, and one of the world's most deadly toads. A huge thank you to Spin Master for sponsoring this video. I am really nervous, Nick. I mean, extremely nervous. I have no idea what I'm about to touch. Well, it's gonna be an animal. Well, I know that, but what if it's like a tarantula, or like a, a viper snake? What if I die? What I could it's literally an elephant? die. What if it's a bunny rabbit? It's not, okay, first of all, it's not gonna be an elephant. And if anybody's gonna get the bunny rabbit, he's gonna give it to Bree. Look at her, she's way prettier than me. It'll be me, because I'm a girl. The first girl. animal's ready, guys. <gasps> the first animal. Da, 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 no, da. I'm, I'm good, go guys, I'm good. Preston, no. <laughs> You know, normally chivalry girls first, but I'll let Preston go first. You're so wow. considerate, Bree. <laughs> this is bad. Preston, the animal that uh, you're go going to uh, meet and touch first was donated to us because they said that this was one of the meanest animals on the planet. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. So no peeking. Okay, I'm ready. Should I go reach in from the top? top. Yeah, okay, reach in top. From the top. Yep. Is it there? Is it? <laughs> A little bit farther, you gotta stretch out. Further. He's on the other side. Okay. What if I don't want to do this? What, can I back out? Is it too late? It's too late, Preston. Keep going. Oh, he's cute. He's cute, isn't he? He's gotta be cute. He feels soft. Oh, wait. Maybe he's not cute. Oh, I don't know if he's cute. I don't know if he's cute or if he's angry. Do I have to guess? Yeah, what do you think it is? He's like touching my hands. What if he bites it off? Well, I mean, do I your know, hands look a... like carrots? I know basic first aid. Oh, good. I'm glad, I'm glad he knows basic first aid. Dude, oh. Freaked me out that last touch. Okay, uh, is it the bunny? Can yeah, I look? it's a bunny. No. Oh, dude, he looks like Big Chungus. He's so cute. Can I touch him? Like yeah, that? you can pet him. This is my favorite one so far. I thought, I'm so glad we started it off easy. But you know what that means? That means it's only gonna get worse. Bree's gonna freak out. I'm so glad that I went first. I plugged my ear. I was terrified. Do you smell look, weird? Look, 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 look. Did you wash your hands? Well, yeah, I washed my hands. Here's you the promise? thing. you promise? Yes, I promise I washed my hands. Your hands are cold. If you die, we're You're married. Alive. We're married, so I get all of your stuff. That's okay. I don't need stuff. Okay, good. I'm just making sure you know. Okay, it's your turn. Will it bite me? You have to find that out. So the animal that you're about to touch was donated to our organization because they said that he was one of the meanest animals on the planet. <gasps> no! I'm gonna ah! just scoot him closer because I don't know if your arm's scared. gonna come through that hole far oh enough there. Goodness. Why am I so scared? <laughs> so keep your fingers together when you're touching. Oh, there he is. Ah! Is he sniffing me? Uh, he was, now he's disinterested. Oh my gosh, I thought you were gonna say he's deceased. <laughs> no. No, he still looks very much alive. Oh, he's turning towards your oh, hand. He slipped me! Oh my gosh, it's soft. His name is One Sock. Does he have one leg? I <laughs> know uh, he has all four legs, but only one sock. And a very lucky foot, Bree. Rabbit! There you got it. He's so cute! Go look at him, go look at him! He's precious, he's very soft. So this is a one sock, and he was actually donated to us because the, the family that got him had not learned anything about rabbits, and when they brought him home, they made the rookie mistake. They picked him up and just wanted to hold him, and of course he was afraid, so he jumped out of their arms and scratched them. Thus, the meanest animal on the planet was not being mean, he was being a rabbit. I wanna keep him. I know I can't, but I wish I could. Dave just went out to grab another animal and Preston is waiting outside. But while Dave is gone, we switched out the animals for Bakugan. But we got the whole setup right here. He's gonna have no idea that that's what's sitting there. How close, how close? You're pretty close. If you put your hand down, you're gonna touch some of them. Oh my, what the, okay, it's moving. Preston, I'm pretty sure nothing's moving right now. What, is this plastic? Wait, there's a whole set of Bakugans in there. You know, Preston, there's over a hundred different Bakugans we can collect. Are you collect. kidding me? No, a hundred, and we only have like six. Look at this. It just, you gotta tuck his legs in first. Then you gotta tuck the tail, close the wings, and then tuck the head in. Preston, how do you know which way to roll the Bakugan? Nick, there's grooved arrows in each Bakugan, so you know exactly which way to roll it. But wait, there's more. Trading cards. The artwork is astounding. There are so many different cards to collect. It's awesome. Huge shout out to Spin Master for sponsoring this video. I have a biggest fear and it is a snake. I'm okay, really well this one's afraid. not a snake, I promise. Wait, no, do, do we trust Nick? He's promised to me a lot of things before really? and never followed through. I believed him, 100%.
All right, come on out. Okay, before I left the last one, he said, do you want something creepy next? What if I come out handless? That's a big problem, but I don't think it's gonna happen. If you come out handless, then this is definitely going viral. Okay. That's true, he's That's not true. wrong, Bree. That's true. I mean, okay. kind of presenting part of himself to touch though, so. What? It's down low, down low. A little bit farther. <laughs> You're fine, you can touch it. What is it, what do you think? Is it a snake? It is not a snake. That is an I excellent told you guess, it wasn't though. wasn't a snake. Maybe you need to reach in farther and get a better touch. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> you were peeking through the hole, weren't just you? Now, yeah, just you now, cheated. Just and, now. and it is not a snake. This is a legless lizard. Interesting. Your face doesn't say interesting. Your face says, no, you call it whatever you want. That's a snake, right? <laughs> Bree, do you think Preston's going to know this isn't a snake? No. It looks just like a snake. Y'all, that 100%, if I saw it in my garden, I'd be like, that is a snake. Preston, what are you looking for? My courage, I am It's shaking. not gonna be in that Look, box, Preston. It could be for all we know, I don't know, I found a cactus plushie, which I haven't seen in ages. Oh, that's kinda cool, can I? No, fine. My courage is PrestonStyles.com fire merch, brand new camo hoodies in the description. Okay, okay, come on, Mr. Sellout, let's I'm go. Done. Gotta get to the Good. animals. Good, Emma. All right enters in mode. Should I go through the bottom or the top? Oh, I'll go through the bottom oh, for sure. Oh, for fudge sakes. Well, I see Keith. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Like, he's freaking me out. I'm being freaked out. He doesn't right like now. this animal very much. How far am I going to go? Go down. Drop your hand right now. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, you barely. <laughs> it's a snake. It's a snake. It's not it? a snake. It is not, not a snake, I promise. What? You what is it? That what is was it? not what is even it? a touch. It is a snake. It is not a snake. What the heck is that? This is a lizard. What? So he's actually called a giant legless lizard. What? That's so cool. The glass lizard. He feels really nice, actually. So the, the first thing that would tell you is a lizard and not a snake is not something you can see. So all you're holding is tail. His it tail looks... actually starts right here. Wait, his tail starts all the way over there? Yeah. What? Lizards have a unique defense mechanism to get away from predators. What is it? They drop their tail off. Oh, he can drop his like half yeah. of his... No. Yeah. It's gonna happen right now. No, it's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> we pray it because doesn't happen. Because it doesn't grow back immediately. It's not a magic trick. It doesn't like <laughs> pop it back on. It actually could take a long time to grow back. What's his name? Uh, legs. Legs? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are two things that are distinctly different that you can see on his head. A little hole on the side of his head right there. Oh, those are his ears? Those are his ears. Oh. Yeah, snakes don't have ears on the outside of the head. The other one, if you watch what he does with his eyes there, Oh, he likes it, doesn't he? Yeah, he closed his eye, right? Yeah. So they have eyelids. Now that I know what it is, I like him. Preston, that's not the animal. Yeah, then, You brought a friend. Yeah, I brought a friend. You know, like, I feel like he might want to touch the animals too, okay? Uh, his paws are a little too, I don't, I don't know they're if they'll not. fit yeah, inside the old. box. Oh. Just barely. <laughs> Just barely. So this is the toughest animal in all of Africa. That's, oh my God. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, <clears throat> toughest animal in Africa. I'm the toughest white dude in Grapevine. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, is he the... oh, he's cute, right? I think he's cute. Can I pet him? I don't think he's cute. You don't think he's cute? <laughs> I don't like when the critter guy says he's not cute. I think he's kind of mean and scary looking. Is he very pettable? I would not say very. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Is he bitey? Oh. God, dude, I just died on the inside. Preston, the animal didn't even move and you jumped. It's a hedgehog! It's Sonic! He's so cute. Dude, he scared me so bad. I Preston, can't Brianna's gonna be afraid of this oh, one. Oh, she's gonna freak out. Hello, Bri. Are you ready? We're ready for you. Oh, gosh. This is the toughest animal in all of Africa. There's a lion in this box. <laughs> It would have to be a small lion, but this animal's tougher than a lion. Be careful, be, be careful. Nasapanya, I'm touching an uh, African animal. <laughs> go, go a little bit up and come down slowly. Yeah, there you go. Is it a hedgehog? What? Yes! How did you guess that so quickly? My friend had one when I was younger. Hi! Oh, he's so cute! No, he's not that cute. <laughs> Is his name Harry? No, his name is Niachi. It's Swahili. Such a cool name. It means, leave me alone! Roughly translated. <laughs> Rough, roughly translated. I was not expecting that. 
So those, those spikes that you're touching, right? They're just hair. They're born with these spikes. Can they grow them like back frequently? Yeah, yeah. So actually a couple of them had fallen off earlier and were just oh. laying in there. So they, they will fall out and they'll grow new ones. But no, with the spikes, they, they can protect themselves from a 400 pound African lion. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. He's my favorite so far. You were really afraid of him. I was way more afraid of him than Brianna was. I don't know how I guessed it so fast. Did you, did you tell her, Nick? Did you tell her? No, I didn't did tell her. I said it was a scary, dangerous one. It was legs. Legs told her. This is Machenga. 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 Yes. That does not help me at all know what I'm going to touch. OK. Machenga likes to uh, burrow under the ground. Any guesses? Good. It's a mole. Right. No, it's not a mole. OK. It could also be a snake. Don't they go in holes? Well, yes. Y'all, it is like wet or something. I will tell you that it's not the animal that's wet. What is this? Ah! Remember the first time you held hands with someone? Is he nervous? That slimy feeling? He has stage fright? No, you do. <laughs> human hands sweat. This does not. This is a human? No, no you are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are. <laughs> You'll be able to Am figure I gonna it out. Am I going to upset him if I keep touching him? No. I'm really trying to figure this out. He has a tail, right? Yes, not a very long one, but he does have one. He's walking away. He's like, stop touching me. Definitely not walking away. Slithering. This is a snake. I'm a touch of a snake. Yes. Ah! Stop. It, it wasn't that bad, was it? My biggest fear is snakes and I was touching. Ah! No! You did survive, so. No, no, no. This is like no. bungee jumping. You know, you, you did something, you checked it off your list. Bree, you I might actually, have to leave for Preston's turn because you're going to spoil it for him. I actually didn't know that's what that was. This is a, a Kenyan sand boa. My heart rate is up a little bit right now. A little bit? Just a lot of it. Look, all I'm saying is I was upstairs hanging out with the editors and I heard blood curdling screams. No, you didn't. That oh. was me. That was. You got some, some pipes, Dave. You got some pipes. Okay, so uh, this animal's name is Machenga. Oh, I like that. And this animal likes to uh, burrow under the ground. Nick, how touchable out of 10? 10. You raised your eyebrows when you said that. Well, 99 Is he right here down below? Come on, Preston. Is it a naked mole rat? <laughs> oh, okay. That was a lot. That was better. That was better. What is it? What is it? It's a snake! It feels way better than legs! So yeah, the, their skin is really soft and smooth and really it? flexible oh, and everything. I feel it. Touch so it. Machenga means sandy. He's a Kenyan sand boa. So the, you see how kind of his nose kind of like angles straight down, so it works just like a shovel and they burrow underneath the ground. So you, yeah, most snakes don't burrow and make their own holes, but these guys, they burrow underneath the ground and then they kind of hide underneath the surface of the sand and then they wait for some unknowing mouse to kind of go, you know, skipping and, and pondering on by and then just strike. What? Yes. He's like a ninja. Is he poisonous? No, he's, he's a constrictor. Poisonous. Oh. So you remember the first time you hold hands with someone, like like the hand might be clammy or yeah. something? Yeah. So human hands sweat. Yeah. So if you touch a snake and you think it's slimy, you're the slimy one, not the snake. Oh, that's really cool. I'm the slimy one. Just touch, touch the tail end. There's no teeth in the tail, I promise. I'm scared. I'm like start crying. It's a big step, right? It's a big step. Wow. <laughs> it's a big life step for Keith. Oh, he's tightening up. <laughs> it was really good, and then it went really bad. David, what do you think the coolest animal you have in the box is? Well, they're all pretty cool. This guy here, though, is probably going to get some big reaction uh, because when you touch him, it's really kind of hard to figure out what he is at first because unless you touch right on one of the warts, it's kind of a hard to identify what yeah, the what? animal is. That, I don't even know what that is, and I'm looking at it. That's so cool. Oh, they are going to love this. OK, I'll go get Preston and Brianna. So your hint with this animal is this animal kills some of the most dangerous predators in Australia every year. Oh. That's a spider. Wait, it's not a spider? What is it? OK, give me a hint. Well, if you slide your hand forward a little bit, you'll get towards the head. Is it a frog? Give me a hint, Dave. You're close. I'm close? So it's not a frog. Is it a toad? There you got it. It's a toad? Oh my god, he's huge! This guy is 
massive. I thought one sock was Big Chungus. This guy's Big Chungus. Look at him. Bree will not like this one. Bree is going to hate this one, which means naturally, myself and the crew are gonna love it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to learn about a toad. Yes. The last animal. The last animal. They saved the worst for last. I already conquered a fear of mine. How yeah, you worse did. Than Think that? how good you did when you were touching the snake and you didn't know it was a snake. Yeah, but they said worse than that. This animal is responsible for killing some of the most dangerous animals in Australia. Oh, well, I think it likes it. He's dirty. <laughs> what is this? Don't be offended, my friend. What do you think, Bree? What, what do you? What does it feel like? He's bumpy. He's got warts on him. Oh, do any animals have warts that you know of? A toad? <laughs> is he big? <laughs> He's so fat. I love him. He's adorable. You said he was poisonous. Yeah. So this what? is a uh, this is a marine toad, also known as a cane toad in Australia. Wow. And so the most of the bumps you were touching were warts, but you don't actually get warts from touching a frog or a toad. Yeah. Or if you're a princess trying to turn him into a handsome prince by kissing him, that's not how you get words. So I wouldn't recommend kissing him, by the way, because Darn. this is as good as it gets. <laughs> that's pretty much it. There are very large bumps, though, next to his head. One right there and one right there. Those are called parotid glands, kids. They're filled with poison. Ah. So it, the only way it harms an animal, though, is if they try and eat him and they bite into it, the poison oozes out. Oh. And typically ruins the rest of the animal's day. And you said he's only like half size, right? Uh, he what? can actually double his size by puffing wow. his body up with uh, air like a balloon. He just kind of like blows it up. He's like a puffer like, toad? Kind of, yeah. They, they, he's not really doing it now. If you kind of feel on the side here a little bit, like that, see, it's really kind of... Oh, wow. There's like a lot of space. Yeah, there's a lot of space. He just takes a deep breath and just puffs himself up. What's his name? Uh, his name is Prince Charming. It's, uh, oh, that's so cute. We went obvious. One of the things I always try to encourage people is to get out into nature whenever you can and explore the natural world. And uh, around the the, uh, the country, they study frogs and toads quite a bit. They do something called frog watches, and they teach you how to identify like six different frogs and toads. And it's actually pretty easy because they're really distinct noises, and they're actually able to determine how healthy different habitats are by the frog and toad population. That's really cool. Yeah, so really frog cool. watch is really kind of a cool, fun thing. You get to go out in the, in the dark at night and listen for them, and it's, it's actually a really amazing experience, and it actually helps us to understand how healthy the Next environment is. Next video, frog watching. Frog watching, <laughs> yeah. frog watching.